Hello everybody and welcome to another computer craft tutorial. This time it's with monitors. So you can have stuff print to the normal screen. I've made a little program that just says hello. It's very simple. I'm just gonna add in a term dot clear and a term dot set cursor pause to that. And now every time I ask for prog, it'll do that. But what if I want to show it on a screen? It's always good to show stuff on screens, always useful. Well, the way you can do that is by typing in a simple thing in here, which is monitor, and then the direction which the monitor is, so that's on the right, monitor right, and then the name of the program, which is prog. And now it'll say running prog on right monitor, and there it is. Hello! It's on there. And you may think, yeah, that's cool, but I want to do that automatically. Well, you can do that. You just edit the code a bit. You can actu actually, you can make a new program. Let's do that first. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Let's make a new program called Monitor, something like that. And in here, you can do shell dot run, and then monitor. Write prog, and that basically runs what you would have typed before, which is monitor write prog, but it runs it in code. And then if we save that, and then run monitor. Whoops. Okay, ignore that. I know why that's happened. It's because I've called it monitor, and monitor is already an existing program. So we just have to, uh, yeah, rename monitor to monitor there we go monitor run mon oh, for God's sake. <laughs> monitor there we go and now it'll say running program on right monitor and there it is it's on there now another way you can do this is by making let's make a whole new code edit yeah, let's call it porg. And we can declare a variable which is mon equals peripheral dot wrap and then write. And then we do mon mon dot clear. I think I'm right. I haven't done this for a while, so this should be right. Mon dot set cursor pause one one and mon dot right hello and that should work so if we do porg there you go it works now it prints what you put in the code on there so that's it's probably the best way you could do it you just have to declare this variable at the top of your code which is mon equals peripheral dot wrap and then brackets speech marks right speech marks close bracket and then whenever you want to do something on the monitor you basically replace the term because normally it would be term dot clear and term dot right but you change the term to mon and that will put it on the monitor and that's probably the best way you could possibly probably do this of course you can use the shell dot run way if you want but this way is better for another reason which is that you can do more stuff one of which is this mon dot set text scale and then you pick any number between 1 and 5. So I'm going to pick 3, right in the middle. And when I save that and run porg, you'll see that the text is bigger. Yeah. So with that line of code, which you can only you can only use this code if you do it this way, you can change the size of the text on the monitor. It's not per line. You've got if every time you want to change the text size, you've got to do that code and it will change the text scale for all text on the screen so you can't have text 
all different sizes but you can go up to five which is the maximum which is that big so you could have that like a sign above your door if you want a computer shop you can have a spelt out sign above your door on a monitor and you can make it nice and big and it'll look really cool so that's one way you can do it it's probably the best way you can do it so yeah that's the code mon equals peripheral wrap dot the peripheral dot wrap right or what well side you basically put whatever side the monitor's on you put left front back top bottom and then mon dot set text scale and then the number one to five mon dot clear mon dot set cursor pause and mon dot right that's all you need that's all you need that's everything you need for the for the monitor but when you use mon dot right you gotta remember to set cursor pause for each different line because it won't it it doesn't work the same as print so yeah hope you've learned something hope it's been somewhat useful that's all for now <laughs>